Hi, okay, so I wanted to show you quickly how I use my latest uh, 100 plus botanical hand painted um, Procreate brush stamps. Um, so what I like to do is start with a fresh canvas. I've chosen a five by seven, 300 DPI for print so that this could ultimately be an invitation or something like that. Um, so what I do is I'm gonna go ahead and start a new layer and I'm gonna use the shape tool here and I'm gonna create an ellipse. And I just wanna use this as a guide um, Basically, I'm gonna create a floral wreath around it, but I want a guide because I'm not very good at freehanding, um, you know, a consistent circular shape. So as you can see, I've made an ellipse. It's grayed out, striping the background that indicates that this is my shape. And I'm gonna go ahead and fill it with a color as well, um, just so I can distinguish it from the background. And I'm gonna turn that off and go to my layers. And this is just, again, my guide. So I'm gonna go ahead and lower its opacity and I will lock the layer simply so that I don't accidentally um, paint into it. And actually, you know, I can see that it's quite off center, so I'm gonna go ahead and center that quickly with the move tool, or as close to center as I can get it. Go back to that, relock that layer, and in a new layer above, I'm gonna go ahead and start to select um, the colors that I wanted to use and build on. I'm gonna use a green there, um, some arching leaves, and be sure to choose the color you want, the brush that you want, and the scale that you want too. So there's three parameters that you have to kind of pay attention to. So this brush, as you can see, it goes up and to the right. That's how it was made, that's how it is. So all you simply need to do to get it into the position you want is to rotate your canvas. Alternatively, you could place it in a layer and rotate the item itself, but I find it's easier just to go ahead and build it um, like so, and as you can see, it's in its own layer, like that. So let's go ahead and continue to build that. I maybe want some baby blue. I'll try a different shape now. And again, just rotate it until you get it the position that you want. I'm gonna try something that's a little more, let's see, splayed to the right and choose a different color. The, the hardest thing I find is to remember to keep changing your colors based on your color scheme. Um, you could pre-build a palette too so you already have your colors locked in and ready to go. I tend not to think that far ahead. <laughs> I should, but I, I forget anyway. Um, let's see how that looks, a little big, so I'm gonna scale it down. And just start to build and fill in the shapes um, in a wreath like pattern. Um, let's see, this guy is kind of cute. I'm gonna rotate him because I know that he goes that way. A little berry. Um, let's try something further down and you can hear my dog is not so happy today. <laughs> um, let's see, if I scroll up. I've tried to create them so that they kind of go alternating um, direction so that it's just a little easier and quicker to use, but it's hard to cover all the bases. Okay, that's pretty. Um, something maybe a bit denser. Let's try this one. And I'm gonna go with maybe a coral kind of color. Ooh, way too big. So just double tap, scale it down. Maybe a little bigger, a little bigger like that. Okay, I might, I also have included some florals up above in the top portion of it, so I like this little guy. Again, always check your scale, position it off, maybe that's a little too big. Scale it down, position it, it looks like it's off on its own. There we go, there, and you can go ahead and toggle off your layer just to see how it's building. You can see I'm starting to create that circular, nice shape. I might fill in a little bit more up here. Um, let's see, I'm gonna keep, like a green, a pretty green, something that reaches reaches upward. As you can see, this, as you, if you paint, it's gonna go down, but I'm gonna rotate my canvas like so and really get it in there. And maybe that's a little too. Just takes some trial and error and some patience, I suppose. Again, that one's hard to get where I want it. There. So you can also go ahead, even though you've placed this stamp and this is part of the same brush, you can erase sections of it that, you know, stick out some of the branches, that type of thing. But I'm really happy with this um, as a base. So what you can also do from here on out is, um, you know, build it. You could duplicate the layer. That'll make it, because the brushes are semi-transparent, that's going to make it more opaque. So you could do that to build up the opacity, the density of your brushes to get a more um, opaque look and feel. Or you could also, with that duplicate layer, you could you know, use your 
move tool, make sure it's uniform and you can experiment with, you know, rotating it to create um, a balanced, you know, a repeat pattern kind of thing, something like that. Um, yeah, and then you can always remember that you can go in and use your tool, your add text to create perhaps like a beautiful initial. Let's go with, I always think that W is quite beautiful. Let's give it a fancy font. I don't really have fancy fonts loaded, but I should um, just do something very simple. And let's scale that up. And I'm gonna keep that color for now. Maybe scale it back down, something like that. And just go ahead and, and there you go. Explore all the possibilities. So it's really versatile. It's really fun. There are over 100 brushes to choose from. Oops, cancel. Let's see if I show you here the brush, the brush set itself. There are some florals in the top, a lot of um, leaf clusters, um, some berries, some corners, some single leaves, a lot of arches to help you get those wreaths, and some ferns some abstract even, and there's all the single leaves, and then all the arches, some branches, and even down to like pompous grass and palms and a banana palm, um, something a little bit more tropical. So it's quite versatile, there's a lot in there. Um, it's on Creative Market, and I hope that you get a chance to try it and use it and experiment with it, because it's really fun and I'm really proud of it. So, okay, great, thanks.